What's up, y'all? It's Riss Flex, and welcome back to my channel. The ruling that the, that the Supreme Court just made today is by far one of the most significant fights that they have fought to save America. In short, the Biden administration just tried outsourcing our entire economy, and the Supreme Court stopped them. We're not surprised. At least the Supreme Court caught them and put them in their place. So we, this is amazing news, okay? I'm going to explain this. I want to give a special thank you to the sponsors of our video ageless glow. If you are looking for a way to protect your skin against oxidative stress and smooth out any visible signs of photo aging, dark circles underneath of your eyes, all you have to do is go to www.glowwithriskflex.com. I'll put links below for you to easily click. It's a lightweight serum that you can put on your skin after you get out of the shower. It's great for all skin types. I use it every day. I cannot thank them enough. This is an amazing product. I've been using it for the past couple of years. Glow with Wrist Flex. All you got to do is go to www.glowwithriskflex.com. Here we are looking at all of the EPA leaders that literally just tried to outsource our entire economy. They were working to further limit our energy output. During a war, they're trying to further prevent our energy factories from operating. This would make us even more reliant on foreign countries for energy if they were successful. It would have made energy prices even higher if they were successful. During a war, it's not the time to focus on limiting carbon em emissions. And every single one of our alliance countries knows this. And they are actually, all of them are reopening their drilling rigs, storage facilities. They're ramping up their coal production. They are increasing their carbon emissions like you have never seen before. All because they don't want to buy from Russia. I explained this in my previous video, which I will link an info card to above. No other country that we are aligned with right now is working to save the environment. It's not the time to focus on that. So think about it. Why would the EPA want to limit our own country's energy output during a war, which would make us even more reliant on foreign countries and increase our energy prices? Through this case known as West Virginia versus the Environmental Protection Agency, the Supreme Court ruled that our elected leaders in Congress make these decisions, not the EPA. That's great news. The EPA is an independent agency, just like the CIA. The leaders are all appointed and we have no say in it. Okay, imagine if the CIA was given the power to make major decisions like this. It's scary. So when these outside organizations make us completely dependent on another country, we will have lost all democracy just like Africa has become completely controlled by China. Just like Africa, we talked about this in my previous video, which I will link above. We have resources just like Africa does, but why is Africa the poor one? It's because they made deals with foreign countries like China who now control them entirely. So let's not fall into the same trap that Africa did. Let's thank the Supreme Court justices for continuing to uphold our constitution. We will get around to helping the environment once the deep state gets out of this war money party and then after we even get the infrastructure in place to have an alternative. Okay, but we don't. So therefore, if they were to control it and turn off all of our energy systems like, like the EPA is trying to do, we would have to outsource. That is what we would have to do. So there is no zero emissions like they say they want. We would have to directly start outsourcing all of our energy and therefore our entire economy. Okay. This man is the one that is head of the EPA right now. And who appointed him to be the head of the EPA? Joe Biden. Hillary sold out our military intelligence to the CCP. Obama sold our largest port to the CCP. Therefore, giving the CCP a large control of our economy. But Trump halted that when he got into office. The Biden family. They have done many energy deals with the CCP, as we have recently learned from the New York Post. I'll link it beneath this video posted to my rumble. The Biden administration is continually fighting to sell out our entire country. Thank the Supreme Court. Dear Lord, dear Lord. Here is the Supreme Court website, supremecourt.gov. They made two major decisions today. Um, the first one was West Virginia versus the EPA, which we just talked about. Biden versus Texas is the second one that they ruled for today, which I'm not too familiar with. Let's hear what Fox News has to, to say about constitutional it. Constitutional law attorney David Cole, Biden v. Texas. 
Bit of a shocker that uh, the court sided with the Biden administration and against the states of Texas and Missouri on uh, something called Remain in Mexico. How's that work? Yeah, that, that case name, as you suggest, there could be a lot of things, Biden versus Texas. But right. uh, for an end of the court term, it's been kind of abstract and talked about a lot of grand concepts. This was very practical. The Supreme Court said, uh, get real. Congress has required you to hold these people in the United States, but never given you the money. Thus, you have to have discretion. And it doesn't make any sense for us, the courts, to tell you to send thousands of people back to Mexico. We don't do foreign policy. What was other, so kind of at the end of the day, after a bunch of jargon, it was just, this doesn't make any sense to make you guys do this over again. Interestingly, Justice Kavanaugh crossed over this time around to join his more liberal colleagues on the bench to produce the uh, winning opinion in this case, which is a, something a little out of the ordinary. Yeah, this was basically, it, it, it was a Trump era policy that was continued uh, during the first part of the pandemic uh, by the Biden administration. So uh, the, the court finding that if Trump can institute a policy, Biden can reverse the policy. They're both presidents. Yes. You got to dot your I's and cross your T's. And that was part of the issue in the lower courts was whether or not the INS had done that. The Supreme Court, whether ICE had done that. Uh, here are the Supreme Court. Okay, so they're being fair. I appreciate that. Um, I, what I'm just most concerned about is they just freaking saved our entire economy from falling under control of another country. There was just an earthquake in South Carolina. I'm just finding this out, breaking news. South Carolina's lead health agency on Thursday addressed some questions surrounding earthquakes, um, whether being caused by mines. A 3.5 magnitude earthquake was recorded near Elgin, South Carolina, and it was followed by a series of aftershocks. The environmental control said permitted mine sites in the area are surface pits, the majority of which are 30 feet or less in depth. They say the deepest mine is 900 feet does not come close to the depth in which the earthquakes were reported. The state officials claim that the earthquakes are not related to the mining or anything human related. Check your insurance policies, y'all. Conduct a home hazard hunt and practice. Drop cover and hold on. Okay, so they're telling us to watch out. Expect more. Expect more earthquakes like this in random areas for apparently no reason. Apparently no mine is causing it. CERN? I don't know. Just wondering. Earthquakes, there's volcanic eruptions happening. But hey, um, we are not causing it. Don't worry. Little Hillary spoke at the Aspen Institute, ranting about how much, you know, she's angry, this and that. We know she's like one of the most angriest people in the world. Oh, she spoke next to Stephen Hadley, who was the national security advisor for President George Bush. Oh, we know how much he protected our national security. Oh, okay. Very trustworthy people that she is speaking next to. And don't worry. Anytime, if you've been following me for a while, the Aspen Institute. Dr. Shiva said that he used to be married to this girl in Hollywood, and they would frequently go to the Aspen Institute. This is inside information. Like the Aspen Institute, they just do like a bunch of orgies together. It's just like this elite party circle. And Walter Isaacson's affiliated with it. They're racist. They're freaking crazy. Okay. Aspen Institute is just a think tank where they have a bunch of elite people with a lot of money that come together and make decisions and they think about things together. But they also do orgies. Anyway, um, if you want to become a member to the channel, you can click join here. It's like a little exclusive club where you get a little icon next to your name when you make comments and I can easily access your comments in the backlogs of YouTube. Outsourcing all of our energy in the middle of a war. Do you know how high our gas prices would be? Do you know how high all of our energy bills would be? The scariest part though is the fact that another country would be controlling us completely. Just like we talked about in my previous video, everybody in Africa, because they have these deals with foreign countries, they have to literally vote in support of China in every single way at the UN. It's just scary. Okay, let's not let America fall under that type of trap. All right, y'all. Great wins, great wins. Don't forget to share this video around with all of your friends and family. I love you so much. I hope you stay safe. I hope you meditate and pray to God. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.